Hey team, so today I'm going to take you through some uh, barbell exercises. So I know some of you at home have a 20 kilo barbell, maybe some weights, and you were kind of getting a wee bit bored of maybe kind of um, our compound exercises like your normal squat, or your deadlift, your split squats, your lunges. Um, so I thought I'd just kind of show you some different ways we can use the barbell and turn it into like what we're calling a landmine. Okay, so you would want to kind of have your barbell pinned in on a little corner like this. Just be careful if it is in the house um, that it will scuff and cause a bit of damage in your skirting board. So if you don't want that to happen, you can maybe wrap like a tea towel or something around it. You could also get one of these. You can get these freestanding or you can get the attachment for your platform. Um, obviously the barbell goes in the middle here and as you can see, it can move in lots of different positions and movements rather than it just being stuck into the corner of a room. So you can make these hard exercises harder by just sliding your weights into the top of it. And the first one I'm going to do is show you a landmine squat. Because of the angle of our room, I can't really show you specifically, but you are going to feel like you're kind of leaning forward with this one, which is a good thing because it's a wee bit more quad dominant. Um, so it's going to take you a few practices to get into place, but you want to make sure you use your thumbs to kind of get the barbell on the middle of your chest here and just so the barbell's not digging in, it's your thumbs. So it'll take a little bit of flexing to get yourself into place. Like you probably can't see from this angle, but I'm kind of leaning toward, that's me standing upright, this is me leaning into the barbell. So my feet are further back, we're going to go down nice and slowly like we would with a squat and that barbell stays on my chest the whole time like we would if we were doing a dumbbell squat, we're not far away from it. Okay, so really lean into that barbell, down as low as you can and up you come. If you want to make that harder again, you could do a single arm, so just holding it here at your shoulder, down we go, back up. Same on the other side, same idea. And if you wanted to do like a thruster, which we kind of put at the end of the program to get your heart rate up, we'd go down, thrust overhead, control it to the chest, power up through the legs, and back down. So that's just some little squat alternatives you can do with your barbell. Next up, we'll do the same with a lunge. So obviously you could do a normal barbell lunge or we could hold it here again on the thumbs and we can do a reverse lunge. So just lunging back and coming up. You could do one leg at a time or you could alternate or you could push over the head in the middle. Which is kind of getting a full body movement done. With your lunge, you could also try a split squat. Okay, so that back leg is back, back knee down, stand back up again. So it just gives you some alternatives you can do for your lunges. Just like we would do our barbell overhead press or shoulder press, you could do a landmine press. So we're going up and bring it back down. You can make this harder by going down onto the knees pushing up and coming back down. Okay, you could obviously do it in the middle to get both arms working together, or you could do that kind of standing as well. So that's a really nice little alternative for any kind of single arm shoulder press. So other things you can do as well is your kind of pulling exercises. So if you do like a barbell row or a dumbbell row, we can do this with the barbell. So again, we've got it in our little corner, bend it over, stand up to start with you can obviously kind of go higher up on the barbell or i just kind of come a little bit lower so kind of bending over from the hips making sure we've got a nice kind of flat back shoulders tucked in and we're pulling in towards the hip and then controlling it back down nice and slowly okay so that's you've got a kind of single arm row alternative you can buy little kind of attachments to put onto your barbell as well so then we could use this a barbell row, which is called the T-bar row. So you'd have your feet in the middle, barbell here, bend over from the hips, and then obviously you'd pull it in and back down. Sorry for the angle with this room. Okay, so that's a great kind of um, barbell row alternative. So next up, we can do 
a stiff leg with the barbell in between the legs as well. It's just a little bit trickier with the groin area and you could use the kind of attachments for grips if you had it. If not, one hand in front of the other or clasp your hands together. Okay, this will take a wee bit of manoeuvring to get it quite right into that stiff leg position. So we bend over from the hips, chest over, toes holding here. You feel the pull up the back of the leg and then we pull back up through the hips and bum. Just be careful we don't pull too high <laughs> and hit the five minutes, but it shouldn't be done. If you've got short arms, it might happen. Okay, so again, sorry for the angle, but it's better to kind of face the weight than the other side. Um, and then obviously we could change this up to a single leg one. So with a single leg, we'd have one foot back in that B stance, hand kind of beside the leg. We're going to go down nice and slowly, feeling that stretch in the back of the leg. Pull back up again. So this has got a single leg, dead, stiff leg deadlift. We could move it into um, a suitcase deadlift, which is pretty tough. Um, so it's like a single arm deadlift. So I would start that with standing. Okay, again, might need a wee bit of manoeuvring to get it right. We're going to go down into that deadlift position, just pausing just below the knee, pull back up again. Be careful not to let those knees come together. And you really feel that all down one side and then you would repeat on the opposite side so lots of variations we can do with that barbell there to kind of change up these workouts at home